Hey INTPs, hi INFPs. Today we are talking about NI play. My name is Eric Thor, and what I've found is INTPs and INFPs enjoy introverted intuition just like an INFJ or INTJ would. So for an INFP or INTP, introverted intuition is a pure playground. It's where you get mental relief and recharge. It's where you re-energize if you feel tired or stressed. So what I've found is INTPs and INFPs, they are very prone to go down like the rabbit hole, start exploring mysteries, start reflecting on philosophical dilemmas, start considering like the world from new perspectives just for the fun of it just to recharge just to get new perspective just to get energy for you perspective is energy it's not stress it's not anger it's not frustration it's just pure energy it's just uh, something that helps you reconnect say if you're feeling low or tired so ni play is something really interesting and it should be contrasted against ni flow infjs and intjs have ni flow and that means they not just get energy from NI, but also see it as their bigger meaning or purpose. They attach purpose to every single idea and vision they have. Their ideas and their visions are an extension of themselves and what they are meant to do in the world. For an INTP or an INFP, there is no sense of purpose in these ideas that they have or these wacky thoughts or this absurdity that they've conjured. For an INFP or an INTP, it's purely about the fun of exploring philosophical viewpoints and hearing about new perspectives. You are just trying to learn. You're just trying to hear it. You're just curious. For a nine of P or nine TP, it's purely about curiosity. So for you, introverted intuition is a playground. And that means you have less limitations and constraints than an INFJ or an INTJ would in this situation. For you, it can be equally fun to just talk about a conspiracy theory or something really wacky or crazy. You don't need introverted intuition to be something serious. You don't need it to be something purposeful. Uh, you don't need it to come to a conclusion with it. You can just use it to just uh, brainstorm, just think about, just go down, just to dig, just to be curious. So NI play is very childlike in its form. And I play is just uh, about, in many ways, escaping from responsibilities. A lot of time, INTPs and INFPs, when pressured with real-world responsibilities, will kind of rebel by deciding to go no, and then just going into their own black hole, just digging into something, just removing themselves from reality, just uh, the, removing themselves from any stressful or overwhelming situations, and just purely going into their own dreamlike state, they will start fantasizing about different situations, imagining different scenarios, or just disappearing from everyone and from everything. Turning off your phone, you know, uh, turning off social media, all those things can all help an INFP or an INTP who is feeling stressed. So recognizing that you have NI play is also recognizing that you have SE adult. That means for you, extroverted sensing, the real world, is something very important. You have to be responsible, you have to be present, you have to be attentive, you have to stay on top of things. So for an INTP or an INFP, it's very much about staying on top of trends and being present and being mindful and being aware. And a lot of time when you grow older, you can disconnect a bit from NI as an INFP or an INTP because you don't have time anymore. You don't have time to check back in with yourself. You don't have time to uh, daydream or to entertain these wacky ideas you have to work you have to be present you have to be active you have to be out there you have to be constantly putting yourself out there so you have to recognize the importance between a work and play balance and being able to not just overwork yourself or exhaust yourself or overwhelm yourself but also to be able to just uh, let go of responsibilities and to take breaks where you can just uh, allow yourself to have creative, crazy, or childlike ideas, or eccentric thoughts, or to be a bit different, or to have a bit of an odd side, or a different side to what everyone else does. Because it's just for laughs, it's just for fun, and it's just about recharge, and it will give you energy, and it will give you clarity, and it will give you a sense of perspective. So that's very important if you want to restore I want to talk about uh, also being able to NI in between busyness. So if the world is busy and loud and chatty and things are happening, just make a habit out of doing NI for fun. Just say something crazy. Just 
talk about a weird what if, just uh, ex show people a different perspective, just be different, allow yourself to be original, allow yourself to uh, be outlandish at times because that's also fun and that's also going to give you a bit of relief and a laugh and a sense of, oh, okay, I can keep going, I can keep pushing forward. If you're an INTP and you want some tips to develop your introverted intuition further, I would say don't make up your mind too quickly. Gather more evidence before you make up your mind. I would also say tune out distractions and overwhelming sensations uh, because a lot of time these things can distract you from uh, forming a clear idea or getting focus. I would also say practice going out and experimenting and then going back in and then processing and give yourself time to process. That's very important. I'd also say don't share with people unless you feel ready to and don't push yourself to explain something that doesn't make sense yet. Give things time to develop. Give ideas time to mature. I would also say practice finding original ways to do things. So don't follow the recipe of life. Don't do things the exact way your math teacher told you to. Don't follow every instruction in the book. Just come up with your own way of doing things. Uh, have fun coming up with new and weird or different ways to do things. And in the end, yeah, don't forget your inner child and make sure you always reconnect with and maintain a good relationship to your inner child. Anyways, that's NI and INFPs and INTPs. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you have personal experiences with NI or any tips for other INTPs out there, let me know in the comments down below. Thanks for watching and see you all in the next video.